What's going on, YouTube family? Today, we're going to talk about some serious issues. It's the King David Life Gym Show, you know, on this hot day, Sunday. Chris Brown concert yesterday, everything popping. So, there's been a lot of stuff going on in the world, in the black community, you know, with these politicians and stuff. And all this crazy shit, like the monkey pox and... Corona and all that, man. Like, it's part of the plan, y'all. Y'all gotta stop feeding to other bullshit in the media. Because they trying to trick minors. That's why their TV is called a trick box. You gotta really think with your third eye, like they keep saying. I mean, you gotta stay focused, man. Now, what our community, the problem with us is too many people is always worrying about what somebody else got going on instead of worrying about their own life. You know, if you're gonna worry about what other people are going, then it's here. Do that for your whole black communities. Because there's a lot of people out here that's lost. A lot of people out here ain't got nothing going on. A lot of people still trying to rob people and crime. All that shit needs to come to an end, y'all. How we gonna come up if we still worrying about what somebody else is doing because we ain't got it? Man, all you gotta do is ask, ask how somebody come up instead of just trying to plot on somebody. You know what I mean? Another thing for the black women, stop hating on each other. Why y'all can't get along? So y'all expect me to always, look, I got a woman, so I'm good with my woman. This ain't got nothing to do with my woman. Cause I'm good with mine. She's a great woman. Thank I'm blessed. I met her. Thank God. Out that way. Get that out the way. But the rest of you women that always want to bump heads with other women, why y'all can't get along? Like, we need y'all to get along too so y'all can focus on the issues y'all need to fix in y'all community. Like, single mothers, when y'all gonna stop trying to have babies just to be having them? You know, babies weren't meant to be made, raised by one woman. I mean, raised by one parent. That's why it takes two to tangle. Makes two to make one. So it takes two to take care of one. People out here just having babies just to be doing it. Like, that shit is stupid to me. Like, where is your mindset at, man? You know what I'm saying? What do you care about in life? Black people. Everybody, start investing your money. Stop just spending it on trips and vacations and clothes and jewelry and Jordans and cars and all that dumb shit, man. Live minimalist. Have a minimalist life. You can have all the money in your world. You ain't going to be worrying about money if you ain't always... Pushing money out, paying bills, paying this, paying that. Don't that shit get old after a while? You know what I mean? We need the black people to get to where we are. You know, because everything been lying to us. We've been lied to about everything. I don't even know what to believe no more. That's why I got to learn self. Learn who you are. Learn your family trait. Learn your, learn your heritage. You know what I mean? Start investing your money. Start investing in real estate. You can get on the app called Concrete. You can start $500 or more. And that's going to be a passive income every single week. You can get on Fun Size. F U N D S I Z E. Fun Size. It's an app. Real estate. Own your own apartments all over the building. All, I mean, all over America. You know what I mean? Best in there. That's passive income. You can start with 500 to 1,000. You get on there. I don't know what you do as far as stocks. You can get on Webull. Webull. They give you a free, five, six free stocks up to $30,000. And. Man, that's love. And you ain't got to buy the whole share. You can just put penny cost stocks. You know what I mean? If you're going to invest money, whatever you want to invest in, invest at least $15 a week per stock. If you want to invest in real estate, invest $15 to $20 a week in which one you want to invest in. Just like with stocks. You can get on Cash App, look at the stocks that's going up, and look at the stocks that's way down. And you can make your, your decision off of that, you know. You ain't got to spend all your money to buy a whole share. You can just start by spending $2, $3. I don't know how your money looking. You know, that's your business. But start somewhere, man. And for you people out here who ain't never had shit and still getting money and blowing it, you a damn fool. Anybody that's getting lump sums of money like ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000, 5000 at a time, and you ain't got nothing to show for it, you should <clears throat> slap yourself. Especially if you stop working and you don't do shit with your life. Like, come on, bro. Man, we got to do better than that. That's some women, too. Shit, because some women don't know how to manage money still. Making $100,000 and still living check to check, you got to be a damn fool. That's for anybody, man or female. You got to get your shit together, man. And family, stop always talking down on your family still want to help them. Ain't, ain't y'all family? Ain't that what family's supposed to do? Help each other? Stop hating on each other and start helping each other. Shit, it's a problem with the kids. These kids need help, man. They need guidance. Man, all these kids do it. A lot of these kids is lost, man. They out here doing some really silly ass shit that can have them in some bad places in the near future or present. So, man, get it together, y'all. We got to get back to where we was, man. You know what I'm saying? Stop with the bullshit. Believe in yourself. 
You know what I mean? Men start valuing yourself. Start overvaluing yourself and undervaluing the woman. Start overvaluing yourself and stop undervaluing the woman. Because this man's still out here paying for sex. Men's flying women in from Indiana and they ain't getting no coochie. Why'd you fly her in from the first place? She should made her buy her own ticket, fam. Women out here got money too. It ain't just men. Women been had money, just like men have. Make them spend their own, because they damn sure don't want you to spend yours. I'm just spend all yours, and she just have all hers. Nah, nigga, that need to go even. Be the man of the house. Be the man of your world. Be the alpha of your environment, man. Take over. Take back what's yours. Make your kids listen. You baby mamas out here that still putting kids on niggas that can't prove they theirs, you need to get your shit together, too. Don't put a baby on a man if you can't prove it's his. If you know it ain't his, don't say it's his until you're ready to prove it's his. And if it ain't his, don't have this man thinking the child is his when you know damn well it ain't. Stop trying to drag shit along. Let that man live his life without you and yours. Cause that shit is bullshit. Value yourself, man. Put God first. And keep grinding. Keep hustling. Keep working. Find what you good at. And that's what your key is in life. That's your calling in life. Do that. Find what you good at. Stop dealing with people that ain't good for your life. Stop going to these no dead ain't ass jobs like I told myself. Oh, that shit's getting old, man. You got to do your thing out here, y'all. We only get one life. You got to do the best we can. If that's the only way you might get another one in heaven with God. You got to do best at this one. You know what I mean? Stop wasting money. Stop tricking. Stop buying dumb shit. Just stop always going on vacations. Especially if you ain't balling out of control. Then you come back from vacation and be broke. You can't do that, man. We got to live better than that. Pay attention to the message. They put their money together and they send that shit home and they build together. Because where I'm at in the Midwest, the message is taking over. Hispanics, stop hating on them. People be jealous how the message came over. Guess what? They took the jobs that you lazy motherfuckers didn't want. And that's how they came up. They start working. They got four or five people in the house. They all put their money together. They can send their money back home to Mexico. The cost of living is way cheaper over there. And they still living here. That's what they doing. You know what I'm saying? Get y'all act together, bro real learn how to get along learn how to put money together to build something build some foundation buy some land if you can i always try to buy some damn cars and shit buy some land you know what i'm saying buy you a house buy you a house own that shit that's the start to generation wealth you know what i'm saying some life ain't always about having fun y'all but some fun all fun ain't good Sometimes you need to sit down, sit back, and look around. You see what's going on. There's a lot of stuff going on crooked in the world, especially in America. All these crooked-ass politicians. China might go to war with us. But they tired of Nancy Pelosi and these ugly people over here like Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Them, sending money out to everybody except people in their own country. What kind of shit is that? Y'all spending billions of dollars for a war but don't want to help people in your own country. That's built your country and that's working for people, too. In your country. We paying taxes to you motherfuckers so you can have a roof over y'all head. Man, fuck that, y'all. How about we just cut off all that shit eventually? Cut off working for everybody, cut off paying bills, and everybody do their own thing. Grow your own food, stack your own money. If you don't want to have your own banks, then have your own bank in your own yard. Bury the shit somewhere. Shit, you ain't got to put your money in the banks. Start growing your food. You ain't got to go to the grocery store no more. Start growing all your food. A garden. You won't you won't be going to the grocery store like that. I mean, they're going to be running out of business because now we ain't depending on them. Gotta start depending on ourselves like they did back in the early 1900s and 1800s. They weren't wasting money at McDonald's or going to Root Chris all the time. All this stupid ass shit. They're going to these steakhouses. You can do this shit at home, fam. For free, damn near. For way less money than you spending $200 on two people or three people. That shit's stupid. You gotta do better, man. Live minimalist. It's okay. You can have your own crib and car, but guess what? Pay that shit off. Buy a car cash. Make sure it's running. Get you a fixer upper. Fix it up. If you balling, then you can buy a house cash or make a fifty thousand dollar down payment. A lot of people ain't got like that, but some people out here do. Believe it or not. As far as these kids, start respecting your parents. Your kids, because your parents didn't have to do shit for you. They chose to do a responsibility. See what I'm saying? It's a difference between responsibility. Let me see. How can I put this? It's a difference between responsibilities and being and. Let me see. I don't know how to say it, man. But responsibilities, your purpose and responsibility is a difference. Your purpose, men, is not just to be a father or to be a good husband. That is not just your purpose, bro. Your purpose in life is to get to a financial state where you ain't got to depend on nobody 
and you can be in a position of power and live your life how you want to where you ain't got to work for nobody be your own boss take care of your family raise your family on your time not schedule time around work responsibility is just to take care of your responsibilities pays the bills you gotta take care of your kids you know the household that's responsibility because women was put here to be the men help me help the man get to where he needs to be because that's what women that's what god made women for they made women for us the gift was to us we wasn't a gift for them they are gifted to us that's what god made men first if he's gonna make men a gift to woman he would have made woman first we would have came from their room now every other man has been born from a woman after the first woman but the first woman came from a man i know y'all won't believe that but why the hell is it called one man because if a woman didn't come from a man's womb what y'all think i have another name don't you think okay now we got that out the way we in this together we ain't against each other we ain't in competition men i don't understand why a woman would think men is scared of a tim of a woman that's got her own money i ain't hey i'm glad you got your own money that's less shit i can do i gotta do i got my own money you got your own money good great that means neither one of us should never be fucking broke but if both of us are broke we don't need to be together that's for anybody all races shit, get your shit together y'all get your act together and these kids start listening because y'all the future. Pay attention to your parents. I don't care if you got an attitude. Get over it. Because how you, you think we want to spend all our money for you going back to school? You think we want to take time our day to come to school when you fuck it up? You think we want to take time our school to pay them book rentals? You think we want to take time our day to keep paying the rent that you live in and you ain't help paying? You think parents want to keep taking time out their day to do all the fucking housework and all the damn chores that you could be doing and you living this bitch for free? No. Get your ass up and do something. And all you kids and people who don't want to work, grown people who don't want to work, you can go out here and you can figure out how to make a check and less, you can make the same amount of check or more than you would working 40 hours, then do that. Do that. You can go out here and clean 10 trash cans a day. $10, $100. You can cut two, three yards, $30, $40. That's $200 a day. You can do that two, three times a week. That's about two to $600 a week out of three days of working. If you do exactly what I said, clean 10 trash cans a day, cut two, three yards, 10 trash cans, $10 each yard, $35, $40. You done. That's two, three hundred dollars every day if you do that. Stop being lazy, man. You don't want to work for somebody to figure out how to make the money on your own. Because these jobs ain't gonna wait for you to come. There's a lot of people out here that do want to work. So stop complaining about what you ain't gotten if you ain't getting off your ass to go get it. Stop complaining. Ain't nobody supposed to hand you out. This is the real world, y'all. People want to hand us out shit. Why do you think they're going to start handing us out shit now? And I'm going to tell y'all one more thing before I get about here. Stop trying to keep up with the Joneses. That's for everybody. The Joneses are people that's balling. The Joneses are people that's rich. You ain't rich. Black people, we ain't rich. It's only in, uh, about a, a thousand real famous, real black people that's rich. It ain't. That's not enough for the whole world. Stop trying to keep up the Joneses. Y'all ass going to go broke trying to keep up with people who got way more of you that was given land 400 years ago. White people are like 400 years ahead of us. So why the hell are you trying to catch up with them? You can't figure out how we can get our shit together to get our shit together so we don't need them. We don't need their laws. We don't need their justice system. What you think Black Wall Street was about? It wouldn't have been on Black Wall Street. They ain't integrated. There wouldn't be no Black Wall Street. They ain't come together. And you see what white folks did to that. They blew that shit up because they seen niggas getting their shit together. And But you know what? We got more weapons and more help now. We can do this and we can keep our own Black Wall Street in all 50 states. We can do it. We can do it, y'all. It's more black people than anybody. I don't give a damn what you say. We the first people on earth. We're going to be the last. When y'all going to understand that? And queens, kings, start acting like it. Stop being peasants. Queens don't be in the streets twerking, shaking their ass, going to Miami, pulling their titties out, fighting, fucking five, six niggas. That ain't no queen. That's a thought. Kings don't be out here selling dope. Sagging hair, ass hanging out, showing money on camera, fucking everything, trying to mess with niggas' wives and uh, girlfriends and baby mamas and sisters. R. Kelly in it. That ain't no king. Kings hold it down. Kings is a stand up guy. Kings make sure everybody's surrounded, everybody in their area is straight. Kings hold it down. King is the alpha of his area. And kings get their own counsel. They can share with a woman, though. So, y'all, get up on your crime, man. You only got one life, y'all. Please God. Please yourself and God first. Everybody else come after that. So take care of yourself, man. Be good to each other. And please like, comment, subscribe. This is King David. It's been one, y'all.
Until the next time, I'm out.